thanks everybody for coming out today. This is uh, a new and unique place for an announcement. Uh, it's always fun to see where we land and uh, thank you all for coming. It's a great, uh, great day for me. I'm uh, pleased to announce uh, some of the things I have here for you today. Fellow candidates, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being here in Pleasant Valley for the announcement of our party's jobs and infrastructure uh, platform. We chose today's announcement location because rural PEI is a major driver of our economy. It's often said that on the island that small business is big business. Businesses like Kennedy Metals are a good example of that. Rural based, export driven and growth driven. More economic growth is vital to our province's future. Firstly, economic growth means jobs which support our families and our communities. Secondly, economic growth generates more tax revenue, which we need for better, to better fund our essential public services like health care and education. Many of you have heard me talk about accountability during this campaign. And accountability matters for many reasons. Islanders deserve a government that is open and transparent, first and foremost. But accountability also impacts our investment climate here. How can we attract investment and new jobs if we can't even offer a level playing field that is not partisan? Who will invest in our future if there are different rules for different people? Without accountability, we can't grow our economy. So I'm pleased to be focusing on that issue as one of the signature items of our campaign. Accountability matters because our future economic growth must be led by the private sector. The entrepreneurial spirit beats deep within Islanders. That spirit must be encouraged. We must build on our strengths and address any hurdles to growth. Traveling across the island, talking to business people, small and large, I've heard about five distinct hurdles to growth. Access to capital is an issue. I've heard this time and again. I heard it from a 25-year-old boat builder in Chepstow, up in Eastern Kings, and I heard it from the front office at Cavendish Farms. Energy costs are an issue. Farmers, small business people, and manufacturers all face challenges with high energy costs of electricity. Infrastructure is an issue. We need quality infrastructure that enables our businesses to get goods to market in a timely fashion. And of course, red tape is always an issue. Too often new and innovative ideas get lost in a maze of regulations discouraging entrepreneurship and new investment. Capitalizing on opportunities is also an issue. We need to find ways to develop new opportunities for growth. We need a new direction for job growth and infrastructure. Our new government will create an Island Futures Fund, a made in PEI solution to investment in major infrastructure. We will invest from Main Street rather than borrow from Bay Street. The Island Futures Fund will provide a safe and secure savings vehicle for Islanders that keeps capital here at home. Our new government will create a micro-lending fund. This micro-lending fund will be accessible and targeted to small business startups nurturing entrepreneurship with a helping hand. Our new government will develop a smart grid power network pilot project this project will allow islanders and island businesses to connect personal communications devices and smart appliances to our power grid. This project will let islanders take a more active role in tracking and managing energy consumption. This project will further a smart power grid that maximizes green energy potential like wind and solar. Our new government will advance our renewable energy advantage, working with the private sector to grow the wind sector and pursue export opportunities with the new cable. 
We will also engage island communities in the private sector to explore solar power development. Our new government will implement a five-year, $50 million community infrastructure program that will improve roads, bridges, and other essential public works. Our new government will encourage a private sector solution. Finally, a solution to the high-speed internet access that Prince Edward Islanders do not currently enjoy. Our new government will work with our partners to enhance our transportation links by land, sea, and air. We'll pursue long-term funding for the Wood Islands Ferry, partner with the Charlottetown Airport to grow services and work with communities and private sector to increase public transit options. Our new government will tackle red tape, lowering barriers to growth. We'll push to simplify the process and have more service, services easier to access online. All 27 MLAs, regardless of party, will be tasked with engaging communities to develop district economic plans within their first 100 days in office. We will develop an island food first strategy with buy local guidelines. We're going to target, we will target hospitals, manors, and schools and support our local producers. We'll encourage entrepreneurs everywhere, promoting an entrepreneurship in our schools, to our newcomers, and in our public service as well. We will take advantage of new trade deals with Korea and Europe to build new markets for our aerospace, bioscience, IT, and our food sectors. We'll pursue, pursue procurement opportunities from the shipbuilding contract, the new cable project, and the Energy East Pipeline. Our new open data reforms will unleash innovation and spur entrepreneurship in the IT sector. The creative economy is an emerging sector with great potential, employing artists, musicians, writers, animators, and IT people. We have a tremendous talent locally and regionally that can be harnessed. Today, we are committing to working with local industry to develop an island film and digital media tax incentive based upon the discontinued Nova Scotia model. We are open for business, ladies and gentlemen, and I want to thank Nils Ling from the Island Media Arts Co-op, the president. I want to thank uh, Jenna McMillan, and Robbie Carruthers, and also Adam Perry, who's here working for us today. These are island filmmakers. I want to thank them for coming here today to be uh, present for this announcement. I think this is very exciting. This is a uh, new opportunity for us, and we need to give the industry a chance to prove itself here on Prince Edward Island. Historically, islanders uh, have been traders and entrepreneurs. That spirit of enterprise is needed now more than ever. Our new direction ideas for jobs and growth are a mix of common sense and innovation. It can be done. Working together, it will be done. So thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for coming today.